Hi, this is New Mexico Bees LLC, and yes, we are in New Mexico, the land of enchantment. This is day, let's see here, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is day three, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, day three of our installation of our 52 packages. This is our open feed. I'm gonna go over here and show you. We've got a little bit on top. Yes, bees do love bananas, and they've eaten almost the entire thing. Uh, they're sucking on this bird feeder. Let me get some more suck on there. And they're getting plenty of feed from there. This is my open feed, which means that this is a community place where all the bees in the neighborhood and my bees can come, can hang out together, talk, be, <laughs> uh, and they can uh, drink from these, I don't, know, I don't know how many gallons this is, it's filled up still, uh, there's holes in them, so on the lip there is a sort of a feeding trough, as you can see there, and they're really going to town on these troughs. I'm gonna squeeze and pull out some more sugar there. Got some bird feeders with the rocks in them. A uh, the hummingbird feeder. Oh, I'm pointing the wrong direction. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the items that I'm talking about. There's hummingbird feeder, bird feeder, bird feeder. This is the pail upside down. It has holes. I drill tiny, tiny holes and they can drink from the lip or from the actual hole. And you can see they're going to town on that one over there. And this is again community. Haven't seen any yellow jackets. I guess the yellow jackets aren't out yet. But I know that I have a neighbor with some bees. I think he's got four colonies. His are probably strong. Uh, whereas mine need a little bit of help and attention still yet. I'm gonna pour some, uh, yeah I think I am. I'm gonna pour some sugar water over that. That's a, uh, you know, I'll just show you what it is. Instead of telling you, I'll show you. We're going to do a quick tour of the apiary. This is my daughter's camera. I'm not sure how much juice she has in her camera. So we might not be filming a whole lot. This is empty here, but they're still enjoying it. Okay, this right here, you can grab it without getting stung. That is the, that is the sugar candy I made last year. And I broke it into chunks and I, uh, it's got pollen in there as well. I'm moistening it and it'll dry out. And they won't be able to chew on that or chunk on that. There we go. And I'll stick this back anywhere. And in short order, they'll find that in no time. So I, and they're stuck in this and this is empty. They, they know that the scent of the sugar water. This was filled this morning. By Jove, it really is empty. This one is too. Yeah. However, the other two white ones are not, are not empty. That one's full too. I'm going to pour a little sugar water on this chunk there. There we go. Moisten that chunk of uh, candy syrup. Okay, so now we're heading for our tour. So that's the open feed. It keeps the marauders away from the colony. And it keeps the apiary from robbing because I've got it, oh, at least a hundred, 120 yards away from the apiary. So let's go over here. Let's see here. Now we're just driving around. I'm gonna adjust the camera here so that there we go. So that you're seeing what I'm seeing here. I'm driving around. And you can see that I have a, a locked gate. Right, and it's, oh, well, bust my booty here. Right now it's not locked, but it's going to be. Someone easily could back up a, a truck, a pickup truck with a forklift and lift those bees out of here. So I lock it that at night. You remember we had our water feeding stations. I don't even know if any bees are in there right now. There are probably more. No, there's none, no, no, no bees in there, but there will be. Right now, they're more interested in sugar syrup 
And I'm gonna slow down so we can see a little better here. This is our house, and this is where we had the storage. Remember all those boxes we had? All those deeps? Well, they're out in the apiary now. And that's exactly where we're heading to right now. Okay. So, the day of installation, obviously, we just pulled out four frames, uh, suspended the queen between the third and fourth cage, um, screen facing uh, the side wall of the hive, so that they, so the queen would not suffocate, and then we just dropped those. Well, we didn't drop them. We just set those boxes in there, where we had those four frames. Um, so they just crawled right out and crawled around the queen. And that's. And yesterday, Bob and I came out here and gave all the colonies a grease patty, and we pulled out these boxes and we left them by their um, by their front door, <laughs> by their entrance the box that came out of the hive by that hive's front entrance. And then this morning, I moved them out of the apiary and brought them out here. Okay, so that's what I did, that's part of what I did today. The other thing I did today was I made sure that all the jars were topped off. Some of them I fed last night were bone dry this morning. Those little girls, these suckers, they can really <laughs> suckers. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna move this gate because I want plenty of clearance here. Uh, I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing. I apologize. I'm moving around kind of fast here. When I get in the apiary, I'm gonna slow down some. Okay, open the gate so I can get a good clearance inside. Oh yeah, got something right here. New Mexico bees, NM bees. This is the apiary it belongs to. If you had a scan bar, and in fact, if you want to hold your scan bar to the screen right there, you'll and pause the video, you will see exactly what it says. It's pretty neat and fun to do. And you'll see that all of these hives, I was going to put it on slow, didn't I? Okay, all of these hives have numbers. So we're going to start here. Just take a look here. So this is hive number one. It's got a scan bar on there and it says New Mexico bees hive one. Tells the longitude and latitude of where these hives are and who they belong to. And that's part of hive tracks. It's a pretty doggone neat program. Uh, bee culture, formerly known as gleanings in bee culture, they said that in April, uh, and, and, and I, haven't, I haven't read it yet, they were going to have an article about the hive tracks. It really is pretty neat. I do all my documentation, all my uh, inspections on there, and monitor what I'm doing. Like uh, sometime next week or this week, we want to feed them Fumadel B. So uh, anyhow, that's the colonies here. So, going down, looking at them, see the bees, how happy they are. Every pallet has a, uh, a marking on it also, whether it's A, B, C, or D. That's, that's uh, pallet C, and this is pallet D. And uh, I've got a scan bar. You know what? You can scan the pallet, and it's public information. All it says is pallet D. Uh, it may even say New Mexico bees, I don't know. Again, you can scan that if you want to. That's for my, mine and Bob's um, information. Now, however, this scan bar is not public domain. You can scan it if you like, but you'll probably end up with nothing. It may just say New Mexico bees. You know, I have no idea. I'll have to scan it without being logged on and see what it says. But that's that. It's pretty neat. You can see I refilled all the jars, and it's amazing how fast these little girls suck down this this uh, sugar syrup. You know, I want to say that Bob made these pallets. He did an outstanding job. Bob, amazing on the pallets. And next year when these bees are good and fat, because I'm going to feed them, I'm never going to let these, these uh, jars run dry. 
we're going to draw out all 20 frames and then fill them when we get closer to uh, the winter we'll uh, give them a heavier syrup so these girls are going to be fat for the almonds so if you're looking at this and you need some bees uh, just remember New Mexico Bees LLC you can find us at www.nmbees.com nmbees.com let me see here what you see here that's the apiary so we have 52 bees not looking for a bee broker necessarily because we have the means of trans of forklifting these up and moving them to California just looking for a almond grove owner that um, uh, you know, this video is going to be public. Looking for an almond grover who needs 52 bees and who wants to pay top dollar for some strong, healthy bees. And that is our intent and our hope is that we do produce these bees and that they're strong. Uh, David Burns, uh, in one of his podcast he used to do um, you know he might still do it studio be live he talks about the importance of diversity not just doing one thing uh, pollination selling honey but to do other things and we're gonna do that we're gonna raise our own Queens we're gonna raise New Mexico bees enchanted bees <laughs> again that's I here you see you walk up to I and you look at the scan bar, and if uh, let's be on the other side. And if you want to scan this, yep. If you want to just take your your smartphone, and this will work if you line it up right, and I hold it still long enough. Just take your scan bar, hold it up to the computer, and snap that away, and it'll say I. It may even say New Mexico bees palette I. I don't even remember but it's nothing that's mm -hmm. secretive or anything about that it's just so we know where our bees are what pilot they are just give us information and you can see that every one of those hives has a sticker has a uh, uh, oh, what do you call that has a barcode and it's not just a sticker, it's actually, we've actually laminated it and stapled it to the hive. So it's not going to go nowhere unless I'm, you know, obviously pulled it off. You can see that every one of them. Bee activity looks good on all the colonies. I'm very content about that. Feeding them. Yesterday when Bob and I went into the hives, we were really content and happy to see that they were already drawing comb. Now the queens are still in their cages. Uh, Thursday or Friday, we're going to release them. Uh, we did not put candy plugs in there. And the queen does not have hive attendants inside the queen cage. Uh, they say that it's always a good idea to release the attendants that come along with the queens. You know, they're definitely foreign to a colony. So, introduction is to get better uh, queen. There we go, making it square. You get better queen acceptance um, when you remove the attendance. But these packages, package bees, didn't come with an attendant. The whole hive was their attendant. So, yep. Yeah. And you can see, if you look, there's a three quarter inch bore in all the hives. It's actually at an angle, Bob. Me, when I did my boxes, I just put a hole in it and then I didn't you know, really care if it was square or straight or what. But Bob really pays attention to detail. So rest assured, our bees are gonna be excellent and treated excellent and give the proper care they need. We've reduced the entrances, as you can see, just to keep the 
the marauding bees and the robbing bees away. Uh, so anyhow, I was getting at what Bob did with those three quarter inch holes. They're actually at an angle, so the rain won't won't go in there. Pretty neat. And all of our all of our hive bodies will have that. And they have a screen right now. When they get when all these ten frames get packed, uh, we're going to leave those that that bottom box screen. We're going to remove the screen on the bottom. And then when the top one gets full, we're going to open the screen on that one too. So when we have 20, uh, 20 drawn comb full of bees, we're going to give them plenty 